हेलो एंड वेलकम टू योर पीडिया माय नेम इज अमन शर्मा एंड आई एम योर मेंटर फॉर सीएससी एट योर पीडिया सो टुडे विल बी स्टडीइंग अ कांसेप्ट रिलेटेड टू मेमोरी एंड देयर आर वेरियस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस दैट आर बीइंग आस्क्ड दैट आर आस्क्ड इन द प्रीवियस एनआईसी एग्जाम्स लेट इट बी साइंटिस्ट बी और टेक्निकल असिस्टेंट ए दे हैव बीन आस्क्ड इन बोथ ऑफ द एग्जाम्स सो द टॉपिक दैट वी विल बी स्टडीइंग इज मेमोरी एड्रेसिंग सो दे कैन डायरेक्टली आस्क द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस कांसेप्ट एंड सेकंड थिंग इज दिस concept is applicable on various places so for operating system when you study paging so memory if you don't know how memory addressing works you will not be able to solve a single question of paging whether it is a easy question whether it is a basic question or it is a high level question you will not be able to solve it if you don't know understand how the memory addressing works and the second place where it uh, where, where it is very important is computer architecture in computer architecture memory addressing is used everywhere in each and every concept memory addressing will be used and if you are not familiar with it if you are not familiar with this concept you will not be able to solve any direct questions that will be asked from this which will be if you have cleared your basics with those questions will be very easy and very easy to tackle and uh, uh, the uh, those will be the very easiest mark that you that you can score if you don't know the concept you will not be able to solve any question from paging and you will not be comfortable with computer architecture so let's start our today's topic which is memory addressing now let's say first of all we'll start with an example let's say that you have a memory which is 8 bytes now there are types of memory so first of all the very basic type that we use uh, that we normally use is byte addressable memory now in byte addressable memory if the it is if nothing is given about the memory you will consider it as a byte addressable memory it is always we uh, will be considered as byte addressable what do we mean by byte addressable that memory is divided into cells now each cell size will be equal to 1 byte second type of memory is word addressable in this memory it will be given that whether uh, the uh, memory is byte addressable or word addressable if not nothing is given you will consider it to be a byte addressable but if it is given word addressable this mean cell size will be equal to one word and you will be given the word size whatever will be the word size will be the size of one cell the data that will be stored in one cell now let's say that these uh, this memory is byte addressable so this means that when the memory is divided into cells each cell will have one byte of data now if one cell has one byte of data and total 8 bytes is the memory size then how many cells will be there so number of cells can be calculated as memory size divided by what cell size so 8 bytes divided by 1 byte is 8 cells so it will have 8 cells 3 4 5 6 and 7 now when you want to search some cell if you directly go here you have to go one by one and then search all the cells but if you have an address if you have a address of some cell then that that will be very easy to track if you have a, 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 a if you have an address then the cell will be very easy to track by using the decoders let's say how we use the decoders now for eight cells first of all what method we will use in order to find the address size now eight cells can be written as 2 raised to power 3 cells 2 raised to power 3 cells and 2 raised to power 3 cells mean 3 bits will be required for the address now how will this effect is there will be three lines here the decoder will be 3 into 2 raised to power 3 so when you enter 3 you will go to all the you will be connected to all the cells now when these three bit there will be three bit options here so i i will write it like this there will be three bit options and how this will use let's say that the bits are 0 10 so it will go to the decoder 0 10 so 0 10 will be this this line and it will go straight to this address it will not have to search all the cells so these will be the numbering because 0 can be represented in 3 bits as 000 this is 010 001 sorry 0100111100 101 110 and triple 1 so if let's say that address is 110 so it will directly go to the uh, 
link which is giving you 110 and you will directly access the memories. So this gives you the number of cells and this gives you the number of bits required for the addressing. So it is always like n bits are required. This means number of cells will be 2 raised to power n. This is the uh, n into 2 raised to power n decoder and this is how memory addressing works. Now, now we will expand this concept a little. Let's say that there are the memory size is 8k bytes, 8 kilobytes and memory is byte addressable. So this means one cell size will be one byte. So number of cells will be equal to total memory divided by cell size one byte. So total number of cells will be 8k. Now you can see previously you have to search 8 cells. Now you have to search 8k cells. So if you don't use the decoder, you will not, the searching time will be very high. It will rise exponentially. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 8k minus 1. Now as far as the bits are concerned, so 8k cells can be written as 2 raised to power 13 cells. So this means how many bits will be required? 13 bits will be required for this and the type of encoder required will be 13 into 2 raised to power 13. So there will be 13 entry 13 bits here and they will further connect you to the 2 raised to power 13 cells that are present in our memory. So this is how memory addressing works. Now there are some changes that can be made in this. So let's try some other type of question or some other vari uh, variation in this. Let's say that you have been given that the size of address bits, sorry, size of address bus is 10 bits. Now what is address, bu address bus? This is the address bus which will be connected to the encoder which will further give you the addressing. So size of, for this case, size of the uh, bus was 13 bits. So let's say if you have been given 10 bits and they say that memory is byte addressable. So cell size is byte, uh, one byte. So what will be the memory? So it is pretty simple if size of address bits is 10 bits. So by in, when you put this into uh, an encoder, it will give you 2 raised to power 10 cells. And each cell size is 1 byte. So memory is 2 raised to power 10 byte, which is equal to 1 KB. So these are some pretty straightforward questions that they can ask you from. Uh, you, they can uh, ask from you. So after that, one more variation that uh, let's say that we can try is. So let's say that it is given to you that size of address bus is equal to 12 bits and it has been given that memory is white by a word addressable if memory is word addressable they will also give you the word size and let's say that one word size is equal to 32 bits so they are asking what will be the memory size in bytes so first of all, let's draw this. If 12 bits are required, how many cells will be there? If 12 bits are required, number of cells will be 2 raised to power 12. So this means there are 2 raised to power 12 cells in this memory. Now each cell is having one word. Each cell will store one word or the size of each cell is one word, which is equal to 32 bits. So cell size is equal to 32 bits. Now you can calculate the memory size which is equal to total number of cells 2 raised to power 12 cells into 32 bits. Now you have to calculate the size in bytes. So do nothing just do this 1 in bits is equal to 4 into 8 bits we can write this as this one. So 8 bits is equal to 1 byte so this will be 2 raised to power 13 sorry 2 raised to power 12. 2 raised to power 12 into 4 into byte which is nothing but 2 raised to power 14 bytes which will be equal to 16 kilobytes. 16 KB is the memory size if the size of address bus is 12 and the word uh, memory is word addressable and the size of one word is equal to 32 bits. So this is how memory addressing works. Now let's try a question that has been asked in previous year. 
technical assistant a exam so the question is a 26 bit address 26 bit address bus has maximum accessible memory capacity of so it is asking memory capacity nothing is given about the addressability so this means that this will be a byte addressable memory so 26 bit address means total number of cells will be 2 raised to power 26 cells if there are 2 raised to power 26 cells and size of one cell is equal to one byte this means that the total size will be 2 raised to power 26 bytes which is equal to 64 mb so the correct option will be option c now this is this question was asked in technical assistant a exam now if the question is asked in a, this question was asking technical assistant but when you see the question that were asked in scientific b uh, scientist b exam the level will be a little bit higher than that this uh, the though the level will not be equal to the level uh, of the question asked in gate but still it will be more than this so they will check a little more of your concept they will uh, dig a little deeper than this these are some straightforward questions because technical assistant a difficulty is not that much so let's try that question so the question i am going to write here is was asked in the technical assistant uh, sorry scientist b exam so the question is we have 128 GW. GW is nothing but 128 gigawords memory and memory is word addressable. Size of one word is 32 bits. It is saying that if the same memory was byte addressable then what would be the size of address bus now we can solve this question directly but i want to make the concept clear to you so we will go a little into the depth we will use the long method so that you get what we are doing here so first of all total size of one cell is equal to one word because white addressable memory and size of one word is 32 bits so this means one cell will have 32 bits so first of all if the memory is 128 gw and one cell is having one w of memory one word of memory this implies the total number cell will be 128 g so the size if we want to convert this into 2 raised to power 20 and word size one word is equal to 32 bits which can be written as four bytes now if you see this one total memory initially the total number of uh, 128 g can be written as 2 raised to power 27 cells so initially the address bus was the initially the address bus was 27 bits but now let's when we convert the memory into byte addressable this is the same memory so when we convert this into byte addressable it is 2 raised to power 7 2 raised to power 20 27 plus 29 bytes so this is the same memory 2 raised to power 29 bytes but we have or we can write it as 512 gb memory this is the same memory but now we are uh, writing this in a form of byte addressable memory uh, sorry in the form of bytes rather than in words now when we change this memory configuration into a configuration which is byte addressable this means we can write it as both ways we can write it as w or we can write it as 512 GB now the memory is 512 GB but the memory is byte addressable so this means cell size will be equal to one byte if there is one byte cell this means how many cells will be there 512 G cells 512 G cells can be written as 2 raised to power 29 cells this means the size of address bus will be changed to 29 bits so initially it was 27 bits but the new answer will be 29 bits so the correct option to this answer will be 29 bits which was uh, given in the exam now as far as this concept is concerned i have already mentioned this before also if you they will ask they can ask direct question from it they can ask a question from paging in operating system and in order to start in order to 
at uh, in order to start the question from very basic the first step you need is you need to convert logical address space into logical address you need to convert physical address space into physical address then if you know the concept of paging then you can apply the concept of paging but first these are the steps and if you are not familiar with the uh, the concept of memory addressing but you are uh, familiar with how the paging works this will not that will not work because if you are not able to make these transition how will you be able to solve those questions again after this computer architecture is a subject which will test the in depth knowledge of memory addressing every concept most of the concepts that you study in computer architecture if you are not comfortable with memory addressing they will uh, you will not be able to solve the answer so this is a pretty important concept and it is uh, applicable uh, pretty much in uh, most of the subjects we study and which are very scoring subjects and it is a very scoring topic so i hope you understood the concept so keep watching and keep preparing thank you